California lawmakers are banking on a very big economic recovery to bail the state out of its financial mess. The budget deal st struck in Sacramento last night makes up a $26 billion deficit through $15 billion in spending cuts and $11 billion in borrowing and accounting gimmicks. For example, collecting some of next year's taxes this year and paying some of this year's bills next year. It also raids $4 billion from cities and counties across the state, and that's where our coverage begins tonight. ABC 7's Laura Anthony is live in Concord. Laura, local governments are not very happy at all with this plan. Well, that's an understatement, Dan. Uh, some of the impacts are rather obvious of this budget deal. Let's show you uh, things like this. Uh, road improvement projects, repair work on the local level would simply not get done, but city and county leaders say the cuts would run much deeper than that. And this is just a devastating scenario for us. Concord City Manager Daniel Keene's $80 million budget is already $13 million in the red. Now the state wants to take another $2.5 million, much of it in gas taxes. We'll just do pothole repair uh, and emergency repairs, and, and I think that will be devastating for the long-term uh, life of the infrastructure. The budget deal would suspend Proposition 1A. That would allow Sacramento to seize sales and property taxes otherwise meant for cities and counties. Besides the gas tax, state lawmakers plan to borrow from redevelopment funds, a move some cities will challenge in court. Uh, the Constitution of the state uh, does not allow taking of redevelopment money. And uh, furthermore, they're proposing to take highway users tax money, which uh, is also unconstitutional. So this is just a giant Ponzi scheme. As it is now, Contra Costa County would lose all its gas tax money for this year, $14 million. Supervisor John Joya must work from handwritten notes, since lawmakers in Sacramento have offered virtually no specifics. It really cuts across all services of counties and cities. Redevelopment, um, public works, social services, health services, it's really a disaster. As many as 85 public works employees in Contra Costa could lose their jobs. In-home health care, library, police and fire, welfare and employment assistance services could all face further cuts. With the social safety net you know, being uh, scaled back to the degree it looks like it's going to be, we know that the needs are not going away and, if anything, are going to intensify. And We're back live here in Concord. We're showing you this local GM Concord uh, Lemurs GMC car dealership because it's a good example of how Concord has used some of its redevelopment money, that money that the state is talking about taking it away. They've actually used some of that money to keep this dealership in town to help it out during tough times. Uh, this city and others wouldn't, be afford, wouldn't afford to be able to do things like that in the future if this budget deal goes forward. Live in Concord, Laura Anthony, ABC 7 News.